Yo, 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 you too, what it do, Hydrate 6 9 with another video, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get in bot lobbies. So if you don't know, a bot is somebody who isn't good at the game and it seems like they just downloaded it, but to find players like this and to get easier wins, what you're going to want to do for the most part is check your playing time. I'd recommend playing at... 11 o'clock to like 3 o'clock in the day. That's usually when I get my better games. One of the reasons 11 to 3 o'clock is a good time to play is because that's when school is. So usually the tryhards who are really going to need to focus on the game aren't playing in school. And you might get like younger kids who have iPads from their school online. This isn't to say that every game you play from this time period is going to have a lot of bots because I have gotten like try hard lobbies at early on in the day or middle of the day. If you play usually like early on in the day, I'd say like six o'clock to 11, there'll probably be some more try hards. And then if you play like later on at night, so usually like seven o'clock up, there'll be some more try hard players who are playing for a while and they'll be on till later in the day. So I'd definitely recommend playing from 11 to 3. A lot of people have talked about Epic adding in a hidden matchmaking. Think some people saying it's in the game right now, but I don't think Epic would ever really do that. It would make the games too hard to win and people would just stop playing. It would lose a lot of attraction for them and I don't think it'd be a smart move on their part. Something that kind of proves that it's not in the game is if you go on any of the top mobile streamers, SSN, Santa, Ducky, Grant the Goat, Roland, you're going to see that they're not winning every game. Like the videos they post, same same thing goes with everybody. They're not You're not going to win every game you play. There'll be games with a lot of good people and then sometimes there won't be. It, it's a lot about luck. There's no like proven method on giving uh, bot lobbies, but like I said, the time you were online definitely does help. When I'm playing late at night, I usually won't screen record. Sometimes I do if it's towards the end of the game to try and get like a nice quick scope or no scope on the final guy, but I usually won't because it's harder to play. Usually more tryhards are online. And I like to get most of my recording done right after I get out of school, usually at 11 o'clock on the days I have two blocks off. I hope this helped you guys about how to get bot lobbies, what time you should be going online to play. I'd stick around to the rest of the video. I end up getting some crazy snipes, and even if you don't feel like sticking around, you should definitely check out the last kill, it's pretty crazy. It's probably one of my best final kills. I'm not going to spoil it, but I did have a heavy snipe on me. And we will be doing a V-Buck giveaway if you don't know. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and show love. Like and comment on our videos. And really, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. We will be streaming more. I'm going to try and stream every day I can possible, whether that be doing squads with you guys or 1v1s. If you guys have a preference between the two of 1v1ing or squads, just let me know down in the comments. And we out!